Right, okay, so this specifically relates to um, an example of an ion that is actually a covalent compound that happens to have a charge because one of the atoms within it has an extra electron. Okay, so one of the nitrogens must have more electrons than it normally would do. Nitrogen's in group five. So if we just start with this nitrogen just here and we said, right, there's one, two, three, four, five. And if we now give it an extra electron, then this is the nitrogen that is then responsible for the negative charge on the whole thing. Right, what you can see is that nitrogen is actually missing two electrons or it needs two more electrons to fill its outer shell. So let's provide those electrons from this nitrogen just here. Okay, what that means is that we've got a dative bond in there now as well. And this nitrogen in the, in the middle um, is now wanting to bond with this final nitrogen. And it's already used up two of its electrons. So it's third, fourth and fifth need to be shared because this nitrogen still wants three more so it's got to share three of its own. I'm going yellow. Okay so there are five electrons from that nitrogen and it's in group five. Brilliant. And it's got three more Okay, so that's got the eight that it wants. So that's that's happy. Okay, the nitrogen in the middle has got the three that it's sharing with one on the left, and it's got the five of its own, two of which happen to be being used up in a, a dative bond or a coordinate bond. Okay, so that is happy. And then this nitrogen on the right has got the two that were there from the dative bond, the five that it had of its own, and the one that it had um, because it, it was the ion. It had arrived with an extra one, and it has to arrive with an extra one because the whole thing is has a negative charge. Okay, and two plus five plus one is also eight. So that one is happy as well. Well, now this whole thing, because it's got that negative charge, this whole thing is negative. So I hope that makes sense.